Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian Kafke, and I'm continuing this series, Master Databricks and Open Source Apache Spark. This is Lesson 19, SQL, Zeppelin Notebooks Catch Up. Let me jump in. What I'm going to be doing and changing course on this particular video is, instead of doing a full demonstration in a Databricks notebook and then doing the exact same thing again in an Apache Spark Zeppelin notebook, I'm going to start to just do the Databricks notebook, but include the Zeppelin notebooks with the code that you get from the Databricks notebooks. I'm learning that there's very little difference and the redundancy is a little too much. It doesn't make sense to spend all that time having two sets of videos when they're really the same and the only thing that's different is slight syntax differences. And I'm seeing in the views of my videos that you guys agree too, because you tend to focus on the Databricks ones and then probably get the code, but don't worry so much about watching me step through the same thing in the Zeppelin notebook. So the big things that are different when you're in a Zeppelin notebook is one, Spark SQL in a Zeppelin notebook does not accept semicolons at all. It does not like them. So I removed those. All I did to create the Zeppelin notebooks is cut and paste the same thing that was in the Databricks notebook, cell by cell, but remove the semicolon. And the other thing I had to do was make sure that each cell in the Zeppelin notebook only executes a single SQL statement. You cannot put more than one SQL statement in a Zeppelin notebook, at least on HD Insight, which is what I'm using. HD Insight is the Microsoft Azure Spark cluster in a PaaS sort of environment. I did include create underscore tables underscore spark.json. The .json, that's actually, this file is a Zeppelin notebook, and it has all the code you need to create the tables you're gonna need for the rest of the other notebooks. This notebook was reviewed in a prior video when we went through Spark and creating the tables. I'm including it here because if you're like me, you probably deleted the cluster and are gonna recreate it to step through the new notebooks I'm gonna give you. I also included a folder in the GitHub link. So when you go to the GitHub account, you're gonna find a folder that has the data files. So you're gonna have all these notebooks in the data files, so everything you need in one place. The first notebook after that, once you've created the tables and you can run the code, is one that focuses on join. SQL has lots of different joins and Spark SQL supports them for the most part completely. So it's good to know about them, left joins, right down uh, joins, inner joins, etc. Then it moves on to talking about functions. Now a key thing to understand about functions is they perform really well. And when you're doing scalar or aggregate functions, you're really doing it again on many nodes. It's a distributed environment. Because of that, you want to make sure that they perform well. SQL functions do perform well. They, they're optimized because of the Catalyst SQL Engine Optimizer. So it's a good way to do things. And there are a lot of functions. So this particular notebook demonstrates some of that. The other thing I talk about are set operators. Set operators are where you use statements in SQL that work with two different sets of data. So you might have results from one query, and then you can append another query's results onto that using something like the union operator, for instance. So that notebook will demonstrate how to use those. There's also a notebook focused on window functions. Window functions are extremely useful, and I often even forget they're there, but they're very useful when you wanna kinda of do two different things in the same query. You wanna maybe keep a running total but you need to get some grand totals or you want detail rows. And so window functions can be extremely powerful and help you avoid a lot of really hairy, complicated SQL coding. That's really all I've got. It's a simple one today. Just giving you a lot of code to catch you up to where you need to be. So let everyone know about my channel, the usual stuff, like, share, subscribe. Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Thank you.